Hi, I'm Matt, and this is a Tiny Humans video about games-based learning, one of the most engaging forms of learning that I've ever experienced, and something that I feel is right at home in a PYP curriculum. It's lunchtime! <laughs> games-based learning. It often gets confused with gamification of learning, and these two things are very distinct. Gamification is adding an extra layer of rewards or point systems to an existing learning activity. You might find examples of this in Mathletics or Raz Kids, where it rewards stars or points for completing activities. It tracks your progress, but basically you're still just doing math or reading exercise. Games-based learning is different because the game is the actual medium wherein the learning happens. And the students use this as an opportunity for interaction. They're interacting with a world, a community, a circumstance, collaborators, or a story in a way that allows them ownership or control of their own learning experience. When you look at the pedagogical approach uh, within the PYP program, um, the idea is to provide a provocation for students uh, about a new experience and then guide those students through that experience, allow them to draw upon the knowledge and understanding that they already possess and try to, to use that to create opportunities for them to reflect on the learning that's actually happening. And uh, when you're doing this in a games-based learning environment, um, the students are really naturally drawn into those types of situations. The provocation could even exist within the game itself. The key for a teacher to properly leverage that games-based learning uh, lies within um, creating opportunities for the students to reflect on the learning that did happen. Drawing the students' attention and reflection onto connections between the game that they just played and what the real-world equivalent of that learning might happen to be. Use of technology within the PYP is intended to provide opportunities to transform learning. And when you look at games-based learning as a tool that teachers or technology coaches like myself can use, it's a great way to find integration opportunities. So if you're looking at any unit of inquiry, a good choice for games-based learning um, happens when the learning that's within that unit, the exploration of that unit, um, naturally lends itself to using a specific game or experience. Students are encouraged to investigate, to create, to collaborate, to communicate, organize, and be responsible for their own tasks and track this learning as it's happening without any focus on the skill. Students are more than happy to learn how to play a game and bring their prior knowledge of game playing to the bad activity. And so you can get on right away with an integrated learning experience. The use of uh, virtual environments, colorful visuals, uh, interactive circumstances that don't necessarily require language to describe them has made games-based learning a huge asset for me when I'm working with uh, English language learners. Um, students who are learning English as an additional language uh, have created some of the best content that I've ever seen using games-based learning, especially in examples like Minecraft. So, to sum up, uh, there's a big difference between gamification of learning and games-based learning, where the games are the actual medium that learning can happen within. It is highly personalized uh, in the student experiences, um, and it provides opportunities for students to interact, to collaborate. Um, it provides support for struggling students or uh, language learners. And we looked at the fact that teachers really need to provide goals or sub-goals the things necessary to structure the learning and differentiate for students of all skill levels and understanding. And they need to provide opportunities for the students to reflect on the learning throughout the experience, which I think is by far the most important aspect of effectively deploying games-based learning in your practice. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Hopefully you will find more soon on this YouTube channel or on the Tiny Humans blog. And uh, like or subscribe if you want to be notified about that. I'm Matt Dalmont, and I'll see you next time.